My name's Joe Kastronakis. Um, to keep it simple, most people just, uh, it's Joe K. I am a real estate agent and licensed general contractor. Um, I live and work in Waynesville. I am a military veteran and my wife is as well. We chose to stay here in Pulaski County outside of Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Over the course of my real estate career, over the last eight years or so, I found that there's a big issue um, surrounding affordable housing. A single mom had contacted me and she said that she had been recently qualified by a bank for uh, her first home. She was pre-qualified for $100,000. I knew being a real estate agent that that was gonna be a really difficult thing to find. I said to her one day where we were going to see other homes and she was just getting so frustrated working two different jobs, 80 hours a week, and just saying, I'm probably not gonna be able to own a home. It's not gonna be a reality for me. It's not gonna be a reality for my daughter. I'm gonna to have to find some place to rent and I'm probably gonna to have to pay more for that rent than I would for a mortgage. It's just not gonna be a reality. Home ownership is not gonna be a reality for me. So we added one more house to the showings. We saw a few that day. It was just frustrating. It was hot. It was June or July. And I added one more and I said, this two bedroom, one bath home um, just south of Post was $85,000. And she just called me last month. She's been in the home two to three years now. And she said she was able to reduce her hours. Her daughter's happy. She's happy things have changed for us, things have shift, shifted for us. So um, she's a story that I keep going back to when I consider what I'm doing here today. Over the last two years, I completed my first um, full new construction home in St. Robert, Missouri, outside of the Fort Leonard Wood area. It sold for above the $250,000 price point. And about halfway through the build, I just said, well, there are this population of people at this income level is already being served. They have entire subdivisions that are being built in the 250 plus range. That population of people, their builders are building for that population of people, but nobody is building beneath that. Nobody is building below the 225 range, below the $200,000 range. Uh, and so I said, if I am gonna stay in this, if I'm gonna do this again, my heart has to be fully in it. The only way that my heart can be fully in it is if these homes are affordable for regular people. Someone that works at the Crocker School District, if they're affordable for somebody that works at Newcomb's Hardware Store. I had talked about trying to figure out ways to help with that, trying to figure out ways to address that, to talk about that. And it came to the conclusion that it looks like we're gonna build some of those right here in Crocker. The city of Crocker, they got a community development block grant and this grant allowed them funding to be able to demolish initially 29 vacant and dilapidated houses that were in the Crocker city limits. And to me, when I was looking for land, when I was looking for opportunities to be able to develop affordable housing, this was a huge indicator to me that Crocker was putting their best foot forward, taking the initiative to want to have and want to see change. This is a city that is taking the first step. They want to see growth. They want to see their city cleaned up. And it's also a city that, a small enough city that it's almost overlooked. It's on your way to the lake. So right now we're about 20 minutes to Fort Leonard Wood main gate, but we're also about 35 minutes to Osage Beach. Looking at all of the aspects of, of what's going on here in Crocker, this really fit the bill as a place that affordable housing would really work, really fit. We can create just a few houses that will be brand new, 
they'll be under $175,000. We have a surveyor coming out to make sure that we have this parcel of land fully pinned, fully surveyed, fully legally separated into five lots. The next stage will be to kind of clean some of these uh, dead trees, limbs, um, and some of the rough foliage up uh, to get these lots to where they're cleared and we're going to keep the integrity of the majority of trees, established oaks and trees that are already here to keep the character in place. Approximately breaking ground, so to speak, on the first set of structures will be this summer, 2023.